Day 3 of Storytime with Leon Book Advent. What's this? Have you got Santa on the wrapping paper? I think it might be one of Mummy's favourite stories. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. This is Mama's favourite one. Yeah, Little yeah. Robin Red Vest. Little Robin Red Vest. It was the week before Christmas and Little Robin was getting very excited. He washed and ironed seven warm vests for the frosty days ahead. He put on his white vest and set out to skate on the pond. On the way he met Frog. I'm so cold, said Frog. Can you help? Little Robin gave Frog his white vest. I've still got six vests left, he thought, as Frog hopped off happily. Six days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his green vest and dashed out to play in the snow. Down the path came Hedgehog. I'm freezing, he said. Little Robin gave Hedgehog his green vest. I've still got five vests okay. left, he thought, waving goodbye to his prickly mm -hmm. friend. Five mm -hmm. days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his pink vest and went to look for worms. He hadn't gone far when Mole appeared. Brrr! The ground's too hard to dig and I'm chilly, he complained. So little Robin gave his pink vest to Mole. It was a bit tight, but Mole didn't mind. He was nice and warm. Four vests left, thought little Robin. Four days before Christmas, little Robin put on his yellow vest and flew up to sit in the tall oak tree where he met Squirrel. I'm so cold I can't sleep, grumbled Squirrel. Little Robin handed over his yellow vest. Only three vests left now, he thought, as Squirrel dozed off. Three days before Christmas, little Robin put on his blue vest. He was swooping down through the clouds when he saw Rabbit on the hill. I'm so cold my teeth are chattering, shivered Rabbit. Little Robin gave Rabbit his blue vest. Well, I've still got two left, he said to himself as Rabbit went cheerfully on his way. Two days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his purple vest and skipped along the river bank. Next to the river stood Otter with her baby. She was very unhappy. My baby is poorly, she said. Little Robin's purple vest was just right for baby Otter and made him feel much better. Oh dear, I've only got one vest left, thought little Robin. On the day before Christmas, little Robin put on his very last vest, a warm orange one. He had been walking and whistling to himself for some time when he met a little mouse, shivering in the garden. Little Robin felt so sorry for her that he took off his last woolly vest and pulled it over her chilly little ears. Now it was late on Christmas Eve, the snow was falling and poor little Robin had nothing warm to wear. There was nobody around to help him and it was a long way home. He fluffed up his feathers as best he could and huddled miserably on a snowy roof. Soon he fell fast asleep. Not even the sleigh bells woke him, or the crunch of snow under two heavy black boots. Large hands scooped little Robin up and tucked him into a soft white beard. You'd better come with me, my lad, chuckled a gruff jolly voice. This is the generous little fellow I told you about, the man said to his wife. He must have a very special present then, she replied. And with little Robin snug and cosy in her lap, the lady set to work. She pulled a thread from a big bright red coat and with it she knitted a tiny vest. 
It was a perfect fit for a little bird. I'm very proud of you, said the man with a smile. You gave away all your warm clothes to help other people. You are full of the Christmas spirit. Now it's time for your present. This vest is very, very special. It will keep you warm forever and when other people see you, it will make them feel warm too. It was time to go back across the skies as the sun rose to kiss the land. Little Robin was very happy. His chest glowed as red as a reindeer's nose. Soon little Robin was home. Merry Christmas, cried the man as he flew off. Goodbye and thank you, little Robin shouted back. It was Christmas morning. Boys and girls everywhere were opening their presents. Little Robin flew to the highest branch proudly wearing his new red vest and sang out sweetly to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. The End